What is up you guys, it is Numice45 here, and in this video I'm here to show you guys how to hide your jailbreak status from iOS apps and games in iOS 7. Now I do want to give you guys a quick warning that, one, this tweak um, is actually going to allow you to get prompts from the tweak itself if you want to allow a specific iOS, if you want to allow a iOS app or game to access your system files. Now sometimes if you do not allow it to access system files on your iOS device, it may affect the way you use the app or it may render it completely useless and it may not work at all if you don't allow it to have access to system files. So in case you encounter problems if you don't allow it to access your system files, then just be warned that, you know, I warned you, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. This can be useful if there are, if you're trying to play an iOS game, or if you're trying to use an iOS app that won't allow you to use it if you're jailbroken, you can allow it to not access your system files so that that specific iOS app or game will not know that you are jailbroken and you can continue to use the app or game. So if you want to do that and you want to really hide those system files away from specific iOS apps or games that won't allow you to use them if you're jailbroken, now I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so before you do this, you do need to make sure that you are jailbroken. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and search on Google on how to how to jailbreak your specific iOS device. Just type in how to jailbreak space the name of your iOS device like for me for example I'm using my iPhone 4 here space the iOS version that you are running. If you want to find out what iOS version you're running go into your settings and if you're on an old iOS device wait for it to load up because it can take a while. Then go to wait where is it oh yeah right here general then go to about and whatever number you see under the word version without minding what's ever in the parenthesis that's the iOS version that you're running like for me for example I'm running iOS 7.0.4 then once you do that go ahead and search for it find a jailbreak guide that can help you follow their instructions very carefully because if you don't it may make your iOS device completely useless and once you do that and you are jailbroken and you have Cydia installed and you already finished its setup go ahead and open up Cydia then wait for it to load up if you're on an old iOS device don't panic just relax it's usually normal on older iOS devices like this If you see this at the top, you can tap cancel. Hold on, guys. Just wait. Then once you're back up at this screen, tap search at the bottom, then type, then go ahead and type in TS Protector P, tap it, make sure it's TS Protector P. Then once you do that, at the top right, fill in, click in whatever, um, whatever method you want to use in paying for this tweak. Follow the procedure very carefully, and once you do that and you're back up at this page, the purchase button at the top will turn into a install button. Tap install, tap confirm, and once you do that, you will, you should see something at the bottom that says, that says, um, restart springboard. Tap it, and wait for your iOS device to restart. Then once you do that, and you're back up at your lock screen, go in and unlock it, 
and once you're back up in your iOS device, go into your settings and scroll all the way down until you see what is the name of that T T S protector P. Tap it and make sure it is enabled. If it isn't, make sure it is by making sure it's colored green. And if the alert doesn't say prompt, don't allow, make sure you change it to that so that it can ask you if you want to allow it to, if you want to allow the iOS app to access your system files or not. Because if you don't, then it will just by default use, by default just um, access your system files and it may not allow you to use it if it knows that you're jailbroken. And once you do that, that's it. From here, you can go into any app that you can go into any app that may ask. You can go into any app, and that tweak itself will ask you if you want to allow that specific app to access your system files. You can tap "Don't Allow" or you can tap "OK." And if the app won't let you use it, if you're jailbroken, just tap "Don't Allow." But if it doesn't care if you're jailbroken or not, then you can tap OK. And from there, that's it. That's how to hide your jailbreak status from iOS apps and games in iOS 7. Now, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, or if you have any problems with this tweak whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demise45 signing off.